Okay, so first, I don't care what anybody says. This is um, this is uh, dear to me because my grandma. Um, but I got Lisa Zane's autograph from Freddy's Dead, and I already got it framed. Just gotta get it hung. Um, nice. My grandma and I and all the other grandkids watch that movie so many times. So no matter who says what, special place in my heart. And John will give me crap for it all day, but. Honestly, it's one of my favorite Freddy movies, so. Hey, at least if you had to have nostalgia for a movie in the franchise, at least it's on some of the bad ones because, I mean, the, the good ones are easy to love, right? Everybody loves them for all the reasons everybody will say, but if you have some goodness on the backside of it, hey, that's just better for the franchise overall. Like, um, yeah. I, I think I have a little bit of nostalgia for A New Nightmare because... Uh, my grandmother, I actually watched it for the first time at my grandmother's house, and uh, she watched about 20 minutes of it and was like, I'm going to bed. Uh, I think she was like 70 at the time, and this is like, I think it, it was strange because it was like a year after it hit theaters, it was already on TNT at night or whatever it was. It was really strange it was already on TV. Um, I think I'm it's that, it. that 90s horror-like thing with like Jason Goes to Hell, New Nightmare, Halloween H2O, while they may have been big with the horror community, like the general population was like, not another one. Right. Not another one. And, and so it kind of got put to the back. Um, we both got this person's autograph. And my favorite part is we both went with different versions of the same character. Although dude did have some sweet saber tooth photos, but uh, Tyler Maine, Michael Myers, uh, I went with the H2 look there's another one from h2 that he had but is a little bit blurry um this is actually the first one i've had personalized most of them i just get the autograph but uh yeah i'm really stoked to hang this one up i i don't care i i am a fan of all the halloween movies good and bad and I don't care what anybody says about the Halloween films, Tyler Maine as Michael Myers is not a single one of the problems with the films at all. Well, yeah, I mean, really, he never, uh, well, I was going to say he never says a word, but he says one word the whole time. So as long as you have, for as much of a tank as he is and a bulldozer, he really is still smooth with his ag aggression and all that and his movements. For as vicious as they are, it's impressive that you can maintain that. So I agree yeah. there. Uh, I'll, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll show you the one I went with. I have not had a chance to get it because I stink, but I, I just did the one with him right there. Nice classic shot. H1. Yeah. Yeah, I don't care. When they revealed the Halloween 2007 Michael Myers look, um, I remember sitting like because that was back when you would click through the little mini images on imdb and they released the photo of that mask and i was like whoa it's honestly I, it's gotta be top five masks easy just like they nailed it they nailed, nailed it. it yeah they really did uh yeah and i mean i think it's definitely yeah easily i mean probably top three for me i freaking love that mask but uh yeah. here's the other autograph i got um so cj graham and the dude looks great for his age i mean i mean considering yeah. this came out in what was this 1986 seven 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 no 87 was uh seven or 88 was seven. that was 86 i believe 85 okay. or 82 but yeah i mean I uh, un under the water that's a classic I mean, he's got oh, the yeah. utility belt. I just, I just like the way it looks, and it looks good next to Tyler Mains and a couple of others that I've had, where you get kind of a three-fourths body. I, I just kind of like that, you know, zoom in but not too zoomed in, where you can still see the full outfit. I really like that. Um, and then, what's strange about this is it's almost my favorite. For some reason, I just have a real attachment to this. It's the Never Hike Alone Blu-ray, signed by Vincent DeSanti. And uh, I got a chance, I mean, for 20 bucks, I got to talk to him for like five minutes about future projects, Dylan's new nightmare. Um, I got to talk to him about these. Uh, I mean, it was real fast. We were running through it, but I got a movie, I got an autograph, and I got to talk to him. 
and very nice guy. Um, I've seen him in other interviews, like with actual professional people. Not that we're not, uh, <laughs> but uh, but he, he seems like one of those guys where like he, it's hard to explain. Like he tells he tells you how it is, but at the same time he's very considerate. He wants to hear what you have to say, and you know what I'm saying. Like he's he's very fair and he's very uh, e uh, approachable, very you know easy to talk to. Yeah. Nice guy. Uh, I wish him nothing but the best, and I really think we're going to get even bigger and better things from him as people back him and, and he gets more traction as he goes uh, throughout his career. And he's still very young and extremely talented, so that's really uh, pretty awesome. Uh, and then Crypticon, mm -hmm. we'll post some more pictures here soon, but uh, we got a lot of pictures with uh, people. Uh, thank you to your wife for taking a lot of those pictures. Um, uh, I, I would kind of like to see the Crypticon if they have a uh facebook or something uh to where they we do and some other people have posted photos with us but for some reason my internet is garbage down here and it won't let me access the albums but it's crypticon kc okay and yeah there's people who have posted like photo dumps and there's photos of you and me with them or their kids or their costume or whatever awesome yeah that was awesome too they that's why I like Comic Con, but it's it, it, Crypticon is like a smaller scale. They're, people are super happy because you know it's just there's just m more for them there horror wise, and they just don't get to you know let their freak flag fly uh, in that kind of a all you can eat setting. 